Monday was Veterans Day, a day to both honor and celebrate our veterans. Manhattan had multiple Veterans Day events. Many residents turned out to see the Veterans Day Parade. The Veterans Day Parade in Manhattan featured marching bands, grade schoolers, and even Uncle Sam himself. Olivia Payne was excited to be part of the parade. Um, yes, um, I'm very excited to sing in the parade. She also knew it was for a good cause. Um, serving our country for all the people that have served our country to keep us free. Senator Jerry Moran was the Grand Marshal of the parade. Well, it's great to be here in Manhattan, here in a community uh, near Junction City, uh, near Fort Riley, that understands the value of military service. It's one of the great things about our communities here is how much they care about our soldiers, but also how much they care about the families uh, of those soldiers. And today we're here to pay our respects, to express our gratitude to those who've served our country uh, throughout its history. Senator Moran says that one of his priorities is to improve the quality of services provided by the VA. One of the things that I want to make certain that we do is always uh, provide the benefits and health care that our veterans were promised. Uh, we've, um, we've done a, a reasonable job in regard to health care. The benefits circumstance is terrible. The waiting line is long uh, and we've got to cut through the bureaucracy at the Department of Veterans Affairs. And that's front and center for me and I hope my colleagues in Congress. For Channel 8 News, I'm Jason Beats. As always, taking care of our veterans remains a concern to many. It looked like everyone had a lot of fun at that parade. We're going to take our first commercial break, uh, but up next is another story honoring our veterans, so stay right here. You won't want to miss it. A wildcat legacy from generation to generation. Where my grandfather went to school. Where my mother went to school. It's a legacy scholarship program started by the K-State Alumni Association, specifically for the children and grandchildren of K-State alumni. When you buy a K-State license plate, you fund legacy scholarships. Show your purple pride and be a part of the Wildcat legacy. Since opening its doors, the International Animal Health and Food Safety Institute has had literally thousands of people take advantage of the facilities and academic programs that are being developed. K-State Olathe offers a unique opportunity for scientists from industry and academia to work side by side, focused on addressing real life issues and training the workforce. Progress is being achieved. K-State Olathe, now open for business. Welcome back to Channel 8 News. I'm Katie Lee Pam. We are back with our reporter Jason Beats to talk a little bit more about activities to honor our veterans. A free breakfast was offered to veterans who served in wars from Korea and Vietnam to Iraq and Afghanistan. On Veterans Day, Kansas State University military veterans and the American Legion held a breakfast for veterans and their families. Harold Cardwell, a Vietnam veteran, expressed concern for veterans of the Iraq and Afghan wars. And I really feel sorry for these guys over in Iraq and Afghanistan and all that. Some of those guys have made five tours. I made two tours to Vietnam. And that was kind of unusual. There wasn't a whole lot of us. I know were a few that made more, but it's a sacrifice being away from your family. It's the hardest part of it all. Harold was not wounded in battle, but he did develop medical problems as a result of his service. No, sir. I uh, got the... Uh, that's one medal I never wanted. <laughs> uh, well, somebody. Oh, he's not here today. Uh, I wound up with diabetes as a result of Vietnam. The Agent Orange, they say. So that's why I'm in this thing. 
uh, neuropathy to my legs. I can't walk very far. Now I can get up and I can walk, stand up, but uh, I can't walk very far. As always, it's important to show our veterans our support. It's always great to see acts of kindness and to honor our brave veterans. <laughs>